Hi guys, welcome back to introduction to maps in Folium and Python. So we'll be continuing with what we did in the previous video where we edited the icons or our data points on our map. So what we'll be doing now is we'll be introducing some classification. So we will have threshold values, right? For the amount of water consumed by each suburb. So if a suburb has consumed less than five kiloliters of water then we will give that data point a green color so each suburb that has consumed less than five kiloliters of water will be represented by the color green and if a suburb has consumed more than five kiloliters of water and less than or equal to eight kiloliters we will give the color blue so eight was the mean consumption value right and if the suburb has consumed more than eight kiloliters of water we will give the color red meaning that that is too much water consumed okay so we'll be using the colors blue green and red so let's add the code that will classify our consumption values so one thing to notice is I just changed my icons back to tint from the plus icon. So you can do that if you want to as well. So let's add the code classification four point in range zero to the length of our suburb location list. And now we are going to add the threshold five with an if statement. So we say if df suburbs, and then we are going to get the field that will give us the kiloliter value of water consumed by that specific suburb. So that field was called OCT 2017 backslash nkl forward slash month and then we are going to get the point value that is associated with that um, kiloliter value and then we say if that suburb that has consumed that amount of water right which is located at this point if that value is less than five then we are going to add that point as per usual We're still going to add a pop-up so the pop-up will display the suburb name which is fetched from the suburb field and then we get the corresponding point value and then We are now going to specify the icon and then the color will be green and then sorry the background color will be green and the foreground color will be white See if I can make this neater or create some space for us. Okay, so we have icon pop up and the suburb location. And now, 
So the foreground color is white and then the type of icon that we're going to be adding I will change that to we are going to give it a thumbs up icon meaning that um, it is a good consumption value so we use the thumbs up icon which is almost like a like button icon and then we are going to specify the angle which is zero and then the prefix will be fa for font awesome and then we are going to add that to our map the open street map base map and now we are going to do the same thing to our second base map which is the dark matter base map so let's copy that code it will be exactly the same Okay, and then we are going to add the second condition. So we have the first condition, which is if the kiloliter value is less than five, then plot the map, plot the icons on the map in a green color with a thumbs up icon. And now we say L if for our second condition which will use the same code so we can just copy that and then we say if that value is greater than five and if that value is less than or equal to eight so it's less than or equal to eight so eight was the mean consumption value Let's just check if that is correct okay and now let's add the code again i'm just going to make some space okay so we can copy the same source code and now we change the color to blue and we change we leave the icon to thumbs up so that is still a good amount of water consumed by that suburb so it's not above eight kiloliters so it's still fine we'll leave them both at a thumbs up and now let's add our last condition which we'll just say else And then we can add the same code and now we give it a thumbs down and then we change the color to red save some space okay and now 
if we haven't made any syntax errors, let us first plot our OpenStreetMap map. So I'll say map OSM, shift enter. And as you can see, we have managed to classify our data points. So all the suburbs are classified based on the amount of water that they have consumed in kiloliters. And, and we can clearly see on the map, the suburbs that are using too much water are marked in green and they have a thumbs down. Those that are using a reasonable amount of water have a thumbs up and those that are using very little water have a thumbs up as well and they mark in the color green so as you can see it's clearly visible that the time this data was published we had a serious water crisis in cape town and as you can see we can clearly see that a lot of suburbs were using too much water as well right so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to see if we have plotted it correctly on our other base map, the dark one. So that's map dark. So as you can see, we have successfully plotted on that map as well. So thanks a lot for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next video.